You're watching Taking Care of Business on Fox 61. I'm Andrea Perry, in for Dan Howell, along with our co-host, Mr. Tom Ed Wilson, who is president and CEO of the Chattanooga Area Chamber of Commerce. And Tom Ed, we're kind of changing gears in this segment, going from business and legislative issues to how uh, one of the hottest uh, technology trends is going to be able to help businesses get the most out of their experience at, at events like the Chamber's upcoming expo. Yes, that's exactly right, Andrea. We've got Joel Slater here, who is co-founder of Ap Epidemic Studios. I yes, have sir. to go slow when I pronounce that. <laughs> you did good. But uh, uh, before we ask you any questions about the uh, some of the applications or, or whatever, can you explain to us Epidemic Studios and what it is, what it does, and where you plan on taking it? Certainly. Um, Epidemic Studios is a group of uh, professionals who are working on a, uh, a platform um, the first one is our product, True Expo, which is made for conventions and trade shows and that sort of thing. Um, and we also have plans to extend that into um, other large areas, music festivals, um, any large event it can, it can kind of work for. And uh, True Expo being your first app and it being appropriately named for the Chamber's Business Expo. I know, it, yes, sir. I know it's adjustable <laughs> to other expos, but... We'll pretend this like it's just a chamber. Right, yeah. It's a first, right. yeah. Uh, let's talk about that. So, can you explain it to us? How it works? What it's about? Sure. What advantages it may bring to a user or a participant in the expo? Sure. Um, True Expo is the mobile solution for professional event marketing and interaction, um, and it basically takes the place of the guidebook or the guide that's given out to uh, to attend these at these large events. Right, and there's a, a look at the, the app there, really sharp looking app. Thank you. Uh, right now for iPhone, I understand, is that correct? Right, iPhone and Android. And uh, we can take a look at the features. The first part is the mission control screen. And uh, this is where the app gets to know you and uh, it has your preferences and your own uh, schedule for the event. Um, and we can go on now to the guide section. Uh, the guide is, um, it's got the welcome message from event organizers, it spotlights the sponsors and can give you directions. Uh, it also has an interactive floor plan, um, so you can click on it and find out where certain companies are within the building. Um, the exhibitor section is next and um, it allows each exhibitor the opportunity to create their own profile for everyone there to see. They can upload images, documents, their contact information, almost anything that they want. And it's a great way for them to be able to market to their customers. And it eliminates the rush to get back to the office for an entire day of data entry. Um, looking at the schedule, uh, the event schedule is built into the app. And this is where you can go and view all the speakers and workshops and anything that's happening. Uh, you can add in certain events that you want to go and see and it'll integrate that into your personal agenda. So if you see something that you don't want to miss, just click on the check mark and it's there. And uh, next is the interaction, uh, the interact section. And this is where you go to look at pictures and interact with other people that are there. Uh, and you can spread the word with social media. Uh, if you're having a great time, you can tweet it. Uh, you can also uh, look at the live social media feed that's tied to the hashtag for the event. So it's a lot of fun, this section, but it's also pretty important for promotions and that sort of thing, too. That is pretty fantastic. So uh, no matter where you are within the expo, uh, for example, the Expo Chattanooga, uh, you can have it at your fingertips, literally anything that's going on, whether it's a seminar, uh, information about a particular vendor. and. I mean, that, that's amazing. Thank you. The that's, concept that's of it is, right. is really, really pretty uh, impressive. Thank you. Well, now help me. I'm not, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm of the older generation. <laughs> so I walk into the Business Expo. What do I do? How, how do I get this app? Sure. The first thing is uh, if, if you have an Apple device, then you'll right. go into the App Store, mm -hmm. uh, and it's free for download there. Um, if you have an Android device, then you'll just go onto the, the market there, and it's free for download. Will that be available at the expo? Yes, sir. Okay. So I walk in uh, and I get that downloaded and then instantly I can pull it up and find what company I may want to see or... Exactly. You can look at the schedule, uh, kind of build out your own agenda for the event. You can pick out certain companies you want to go and, and visit uh, and kind of personalize your experience. Um, the best thing about it is you can keep your hands free. Um, everybody's had the experience of going to one of these and uh, coming home with a huge bag full of stuff and just throwing it away most of the time. 
Um, so this allows you to walk around and uh, peruse the exhibit hall and keep your hands free the entire time. That's pretty amazing. How did you and your partners come up with the, the concept for this? I, it sounds like from a personal experience, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're exactly right. Um, just like I said, everybody's had the experience of doing this. Yeah. Uh, we were in Las Vegas at a big show and uh, had a huge bag full of stuff and thought it's not coming back to Chattanooga <laughs> on the plane. Um, so it got thrown away. And once we got back, we realized, you know, there's got to be a better way. Um, so now there is. That was simply put, very simply put. <laughs> how long ago was that? I mean, how old is this app? Uh, we've been working on it for a little bit over a year now. It takes that long to develop these, these things? From concept to, uh, mm -hmm. you know, putting it down on paper and then actually writing the code for it. Yeah, it's a lot of work. I'm just curious, uh, show my ignorance perhaps, but do uh, you have to, is there a copyright or anything involved with these things? That'd be, uh, that'd be out of my area of expertise, too. <laughs> you just created. That's right. I'm sure there probably is, but uh, to protect the, the, the yeah. owners uh, and the creators of the, of the product. But for, for someone who is going to the expo, for example, um, let's talk a little bit about the, the marketing aspect of it from a, a business owner's perspective. Uh, what can they hope to, to gain from this? Sure. Um, the first thing is, if you think about it, um, it's going to include your company's information on every device, so it's going to be in your customers' hands, in their pockets, uh, wherever they go, and it'll last for a week or so after the event's over. So um, for companies that are going to be exhibiting, uh, what they need to do is think about any printed material they want uploaded, a sales catalog, a uh, brochure, anything like that. Make sure to get it on and uh, let your people see it. You probably mentioned this, and, uh, but is it free? If I go in and download it, it's free? Yes, sir. It's free. Wow. Well, there's a logical question. <laughs> right. How, how do you get paid for this? Um, we have, we have uh, partnered with the, the chamber, uh -huh. and um, they are providing that for free for, for the event. So um, everybody should take advantage of it. It's going to be a great benefit to them. That's great. And it's going to be available on the day of the, the expo. Right. We'll, we'll publish it um, about a week before mm -hmm. uh, so people can go through and get used to it and everything else. And, um, or you can certainly download it the day that you walk in. And what's in the hopper? What, what are you working on now, can you say? I, I mean, you've got one app, and hopefully it's going to be successful. Certainly it'll be useful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it will. But what do you do from here? Um, uh, the first thing is, is getting this one down, Pat. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we definitely want to make sure that it's there for every use uh, and, and very beneficial for the people in Chattanooga for this event. Um, from there, who knows? We don't know what's going to be next yet at this point. Wow, but you've certainly uh, stepped out, you know, uh, you set the bar pretty high, I'll put it that way. <laughs> Thank so you. I guess and, and working out, you know, working all the kinks out and make sure that it is exactly what you want and exactly what consumers need uh, is going to be very important. So, uh, Joel, we just want to thank you very much for coming in and, and the creativity behind this is really very impressive. So uh, please be sure to thank your partners at Epidemic Studios <laughs> for helping out much. with this. Thank you very much, I will. All right. Well, friends, we are going to uh, take a quick break, but, you know, there's more to come as we continue taking care of business here on Fox 61. Welcome back to Taking Care of Business. Well, Tom Ed, I have to say, sitting in for Dan has been quite educational for me here for the show, uh, learning about how uh, legislative decisions at the state level can definitely have a, a major impact on business owners and, and the people served by the chamber. Oh, it's hugely important, yeah. and so we work very closely with our state legislators. Absolutely. And learning about the True Expo app, that was really impressive. Uh, that's a, a very creative tool. And of course, the Expo Chattanooga is coming up. I think we're less than a month away. March for the 21st. That now. Yeah. March the 21st. And uh, it'll take place from 10 to 4 at the Chattanooga Convention Center. It's a load of fun. Mm -hmm. And we have small business awards, and there's a business after hours, all day event. We invite everyone to come and join us. Definitely. And they can uh, download the app. It will be available it on that day. It will be available. Yes. And, of course, people can still, if they want to get a booth, uh, they can still participate. Is that Never correct? Never too late. Never too late. <laughs> can they go to the Chamber website or uh, give the, the Chamber a call to find out more about that? They can do that. Definitely. And you want to give us the number? 756-2121. All right. You got that. <laughs> but I think it's just going to be a great event. There's so many uh, great opportunities for business owners and community leaders in general provided by the Chamber. So yes. we're really excited to have uh, uh, such an active 
uh, resource in our community to be able to help us out. So we want to thank everybody for joining us today. Be sure to tune in this time next month for Taking Care of Business.